All right, what is up everybody? Here we are in a new game. So I have a lot to talk about that I'm kind of just going to talk throughout all of this, to be fair. Um, so first, starting off with, I guess, news about myself. I don't necessarily want to just keep my channel, or I guess not really about myself, but about my channel specifically. I don't want to keep it just around Minecraft. And I know that's kind of how I had gotten my start, but for those of you that kind of know, my first few videos were actually kind of really around the place. But I guess I should probably first get into this. This is Seven Days to Die, a game that I have enjoyed thoroughly playing, um, just playing, honestly. And I thought, you know, recording it could be good content, and so I decided to start up a solo series of it. And I've decided I wanted to play this. I have a few games I could have played, and this was kind of the ones I decided I wanted to play first. And as you know, it was... Kind of... Because as of late, you know, I started playing Terraria with Dom. Which most of you should know, because... That series has already started. And it's re made me realize that I don't want my channel to specifically stay around just Minecraft because I want to play a whole bunch of different games. I, I just enjoy playing games. Like, that, that's my hobby. I enjoy playing games, and that's really all there is to it, and I just want to enjoy it, you know? So, that's what I've decided to do. I'm going to play games, I'm going to record them, and I'm going to have fun doing it. And so I decided that, for now, for the temporary time, until me and Dom eventually get back to... Cry uh, Forever Stranded, which should maybe be today, or maybe a few days in the future, I'm not sure, depending on when this video goes up. Because me and Dom really are... I guess we've kind of hit, like, a rut, so to speak. Dom's already recording two other series for Minecraft, you know. So, we're, we've kind of hit a rut. And we kind of want to change things up a bit, which is why we started... Terraria. And so that's what we're doing, you know. I'm branching out to a few other... series. A few other games, in general. While Dom is kind of doing his own thing over on his channel. And so, yeah, I decided I wanted to do Seven Days to Die. Seven Days to Die is basically like a zombie apocalypse game where you have to survive, kill zombies, and just keep surviving. It's kind of like Minecraft in a sense, but zombie apocalypse ish plus crafting-ish stuff. That's kind of all there is to it. But there is a lot to this game. A lot that I just find a lot of fun. And so I decided I wanted to play it. And just kind of enjoy myself. So on to the next topic. And that will be about my Sky Factory 3 series. So, along with the fact that I've been, you know, in a rut with Minecraft, another thing is that Sky Factory 3 kind of collided too much with Forever Stranded, and it just wasn't doing it because it was just repeated content over and over again that I didn't want to keep repeating. Because all of the stuff we were planning to do in Forever Stranded was something I'd already done in Sky Factory 3, or some of the Fa Sky Factory 3 stuff I've done, we've already done in Forever Stranded, you know. It just didn't line up. Or it just kept aligning, I should, I should say. Because it kind of just kept repeating itself, and I didn't want the same content just repeating over and over again. So, I decided to drop that, 
And that, this is what that will be replacing. This will be replacing Sky Factory 3. No vultures. Oh, okay. And I fell. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's it's a lot because I've been kind of on the edge of whether I wanted to keep my channel specifically to Minecraft or to just gaming in general, which I kind of decided I do just want to do games. Like, I just enjoy games and it's a lot of fun, honestly. Like, I'm gonna change some of this stuff down. Cause it's kinda, kinda loud. And so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Stay down! <laughs> it's for your own good. But, uh, yeah, no. Um, me and Dom aren't quite ready to drop Forever Stranded. And we don't want to. You know, it's something we've kind of both decided on at the moment that it's kind of just because of the rut we're currently in that we're taking a break from it. You know, a lot of the things we've been doing or that Dom's been doing have been something that kind of most mod packs have kind of just repetitively done and we don't really want a whole bunch of that repetitiveness and so we decided you know that we kind of wanted to change things up and so we did with Terraria you know that's that's what we decided to do and Terraria was Terraria is a lot of fun don't get me wrong, I, I really enjoy Terraria. It has, for a long time, been one of my favorite games to play, and I really do just enjoy it. And I'm probably repeating a lot, because I'm still not really 100% sure, because I just came into this, you know, wanting to kind of explain to you guys that... Because I, I doubt it's all that fun just seeing the same repetitive stuff over and over again on my channel. And with Dom, you know, he's kind of explained to me that he was tired of it. Like, he was kind of tired. That's why he was thinking <coughs> of a few other things to do. And that's why he started doing better Minecraft. It's because it's not all technological band based, you know, mod packs and... He decided he really was wanting to enjoy it, so he sw he started switching up between Volcano Block and Better Minecraft. But anyway, <laughs> Dom, I probably shouldn't even be talking about this, but you know, it's something me and him have been talking about a lot the last few days because we we were kind of unsure about kind of the way we wanted it to go, but we were both just kind of bored. You know, like, we were stuck in a rut with modded Minecraft because it's all kind of just the same stuff. And so, with that, I kind of also just made the decision that I don't want my channel to stay around just Minecraft content. It's not disappearing, don't get me wrong, because I enjoy Minecraft. But, it's kind of just... freeing a little bit you know as a creator you know you, you want to make sure you enjoy it and you don't get tired of it and it's not just the same repetitive stuff so you're not getting you know stuck in a rut like we were you know we had gone through i don't even know how many mod packs so far but we went through a lot before we had decided or before i had decided kind of what track i wanted to do and that neither of us wanted to just keep going with only Minecraft, you know. I mean, Dom found that out a lot earlier. That's why, like, earlier in his career he had been doing other stuff. 
And then, you know, he had told me about that, and I was like, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's what I should do. You know, I didn't want to stick around the same stuff. And so I've decided I'm not, you know, I, I'm going to be free, I'm going to enjoy my games that I'm playing, and I'm not just going to do the same repetitive processes over and over again. Oh, I missed. Oh boy. Nope, back up, sir. I do not need your trouble. Back up! Oh, well, his head just went flying. But yeah, no, it's, um... It took me a few days to kind of come to terms with it, that that's what I wanted to do. And, see, I had been deciding kind of what exactly I wanted to do. Because I have a whole bunch of games that I enjoy to play, like, Borderlands is one of them, you know, I can, I, I always like playing with Borderlands. Borderlands has been, like, one of the most series that I feel like kind of brought up, well, I guess I can't really say that, but it was one of the first games I think I ended up playing in depth that really kind of just made me enjoy gaming a lot in my earlier years, because back when I had first gotten my Switch... You know, I had really enjoyed Borderlands, because Borderlands was one of the first games I got. And then among that, there was also, I grew up playing the Super Mario and Zelda games off of the Wii. And I loved problem-solving games, along with, I, I just, I enjoyed games. Minus dating games, I really never kind of understood those, but, you know... <laughs> I don't really see a point to it, but yeah, no. It kind of just struck me. A little later than I think it should have, that I should change my channel a little bit. Because as time goes on, you know, the views have been dwindling. And I don't want to base my channel all around views, but it is kind of an important aspect of YouTube, you know. You can't really go on with it without having without really having the kind of willpower to you know being able to take that failure on the aspect of oh I'm not doing good enough to raise views I'm not doing good enough to be able to make a living off of this, you know, but it's also that you also have to realize that growth is not instant and it takes a while and that you kind of just have to have the willpower to keep doing it and keep going for it, to keep pushing and pushing and hoping that you will succeed and trying to make sure you succeed and it's been rough trying to understand that aspect of this. Oh, there's a traitor. Ooh, good. I need that. But it has been... I would say, I would like to say I've learned a lot from it. And so that's what I'm doing. I, I'm here, you know, playing other games. That's just what I'm going to do. <laughs> I talked way I talked way too much when I shouldn't be. So yeah. And now I'll finally get into kind of explaining... Ow, he hit me. I should not have let him hit me. I'll kind of start explaining the game. So, Seven Days to Die, right? Ooh, where am I? I'm right next to the desert. Why? Okay. We'll start explaining. So, Seven Days to Die, post-apocalyptic zombie game, or I guess not really even post-apocalyptic, it's already apocalyptic. Um, so there's a whole lot you can do. You can go raid places, they have little danger levels, you kill zombies, try to get stronger with skill points. By the way, these are the skill points right here. I already have one because I've already leveled up. I've almost got two. But yeah. Um, I think, because, I've like I said, I've played this game a lot. 
<laughs> and sometimes I learn stuff that I just didn't really know before and learn other things. And I think what I want to do first, because I really want to get into this, is Daring Adventurer. Because Daring Adventurer means the more quests you do for an NPC, the better rewards you get. And the currency is Dukes. Hold on, I want to scrap this book. Or note. Scrap that. And there's these books that you can use to improve crafting skills or gain little specific kind of skills or benefits from. There's gear you can equip to wear to take less damage. You can build your own base, you know. There's a lot. And so there's also these traders that are kind of scattered around. There's usually one in every town. There are also some not in towns. There's some just out in the middle. And they have jobs that they'll offer that you can do to go clear stuff. Or they have a shop. Like, see, this one's selling a pipe pistol. I could use the 17 9mm I have for it, but I don't have the money. So I gotta do jobs to get the money. And so it's kind of just about that, you know, it's simple. You know, everything kind of adds up together, and it's better for everybody. I got better things to do than stare at the laxity. So there's also a map. Uh, okay, I think I'm near I don't know where I am. That's a good question. Let's see, where am I on my map here? Okay, I think that's where I am. So, yeah, no. I think I'll pick up a temporary job from him for the moment. I think I'll do this fetch one, because buried supplies usually aren't very easy, and they're not easy to get through. So, yeah, my first job. We'll do this. And we'll clear it. Tier one. Wait, that didn't work. Okay. 460 meters this way. So yeah, the game runs off of stamina. Um, attacking takes stamina. Running takes stamina. Disassembling cars or any other objects takes stamina. I think the only thing that really doesn't even take stamina is... Um, Upgrading your house. <laughs> but, uh, swinging a tool, swinging a weapon, any of that takes stamina. Firing guns doesn't take stamina, thank goodness, because that would be a pain. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. We're gonna go do our first job, we're gonna get some dukes from it, and we'll get some rewards that may or may not be good, we don't really know yet. That part we kinda have to see about... You can get pretty lucky sometimes, or you can't. Like, sometimes it'll be pretty bad. <clears throat> so we're currently going to somewhere called the Owens House. To try and do a job. Which will have loot in it, so we get the loot, you know... We get the supplies, we go back, we get more loot and money so that we can buy stuff from him. So, we're basically kind of creating this economy in the game. Oh, is that the Owens house? Interesting. Um, oh. I don't think she's supposed to appear this soon. Come on, get down here, lady. No screaming for you. She gets real annoying, because that's a screamer, and she can summon zombies. Which is not good. It makes doing jobs a whole lot harder. And I'm surprised, because I don't even think the game stage is up that high. Yeah, no, that's a surprising spawn. 
Okay. So usually when you do these missions, you're supposed to kind of follow them. And you kind of just follow them via looking for whatever unlocked door is usually not locked. Ooh, no vulture, no. So I'm assuming I'm supposed to be going in through here. By the looks of it, I feel like I might be correct. You gotta be careful because zombies are usually like lurking around every corner. See? Oh, well, here's my supplies. So I've already completed the quest. But I'll go through this anyway just to kind of show you all what it's like going through houses. Oh, there's a burnt guy. Stamina is definitely something you gotta kinda look out for. Books are definitely something you always want to pay attention for, too, because books upgrade your crafting skill, and if you can't craft anything better than what you already have, you know, it's, it's bad. Oh, that's where I just came from. Okay, well, now we go down. Pretty gore game. But nonetheless, it's fun, you know? Guess we're going through here. Ooh, a cooking pot. Pretty nice. Some food. Ooh, home cooking book. That means we can get more recipes. And a cracker book crate. A cracker book is like a godsend when you need crates. For many reasons. Because they have a lot of books. Okay. Well, there's a zombie right there. Let me see the one. Oh, well, there's a few of them. Oh, gotta be careful about my stamina. And as the game kind of progresses on, you get zombies that are harder and harder to face. Like ferals, you can tell it's a feral with the, by if they have orange eyes. And they are very dangerous because at night, zombies can run. Which, I guess, you know, you're like, oh, it's not so bad. No, they full-on sprint at you. And it is not fun. Ooh, leather duster. I always like having a leather duster. It's so much fun. Oh, grab the book. And we've completed the job. Well, I mean, we completed it a while ago, but... Yeah. And so now we just return to the trader. And we get some rewards. And the thing about Daring Adventure is when you fully max it out, it is really, really good. And that's why I would kind of urge everybody to kind of max it out. Like, be, have intellect be one of the first things you do, because for one, intellect is one of the better skills to kind of get into first starting, because there's better barter, which lowers prices for traders. There's daring adventure, when fully maxed, you pick two quest rewards, and you get 20% more dukes. There's Physician, which is crafting health items better. There's Advanced Engineering, which is faster and gets you more items. This lets 
you craft vehicle parts cheaper because you can craft vehicles in this. And lockpicking for any safes is literally the best god tier skill you can ever have. And it's after that point that I urge people to select one or two other trees that you should kind of respectively choose. Because there's only so many points you can get. And it kind of limits your choices. Because as you go through every main tier... So every skill has a limit to how many you can get. Based on the main skill. The main skill being intellect. In this case. So let's say I buy tier 1 of Daring Adventurer, right? I cannot buy level 2 of Daring Adventurer until I have, I think, 3 levels in... Intellect, which we can kind of confirm right now, you know. Daring Adventurer. Intellect level 4. You need intellect level 4, so you have to invest more points into intellect. Simple. So, with that, you have, you know, four other trees you can invest in after intellect, which I would recommend, that kind of all have their own perks. And if it were me, I would choose either Perception or Strength, and then choose between fortitude and agility. Because, for one, perception has spears, which are decent and fast. And they also have lucky looter, which increases looting quickness and luck chance for better items. Or strength, which has some heavier duty attack skills, plus a few of its own buffs. So here we have our choices for rewards. Up here you can see how much XP we get for it and how many dukes. And I think I'm gonna go with the wood. Because at first collecting wood is not very easy due to lack of stamina, lack of damage. So I'm gonna take that. <clears throat> and so with this we now have some money. You know. <clears throat> And we just got two whole levels out of that XP from that quest. And so I'm going to head to the next city because I don't want to stay in the smaller one. The smaller one's not going to provide me a whole lot of benefits. And I don't really want that. So I'm going to head on to a bigger city next episode. And uh, yeah, this is where we'll end this one off here because I want to try and keep these around 30 minutes. So we're going to try and do that. So yeah, if you all enjoyed, uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. I would greatly appreciate it if you could help me out. And I will see you all next time. Peace.